perfringes, okay? In Clostridium perfringes, you have an alpha toxin and a beta toxin. So when I think of the alpha toxin, I think of an alpha male. So I think of this big football player who's holding this little guy and he's grabbing him by the neck so he's cutting off his air so it's anaerobic and he's punching him in his lecithin and destroying his cell wall, okay? So he's this big football player so he just got done playing football so he's giving off all this gas green, all this sweat and everything so you have the gas green and the popping coming out of his skin. And then he's also standing in the double end zone of the football field. So it's double beta hemolytic. So again, he's a big alpha male and he likes to eat meat. So usually raw meat is what causes uh, Clostridium perfringes, the alpha toxin. Okay, and then you also have the beta toxin where I think of the beta males. So beta males are usually gonna be smaller and the only way they can cause some real damage is if a lot of them attack you at once. So, and also beta males are probably gonna eat a little bit less meat. So the people who get uh, beta toxin infections are gonna be people with low protein diets and who end up with a pig bell, okay? So that's Clostridium perfringes.